Hello and welcome back to another How To Bloke. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, patio doors. Patio doors? No, not the sliding ones, the ones, the UPVC doors that you open. Like this one. Like this one here, like that. Now, this door's about, uh, was put in, I don't know, a long time ago, more than 15 years ago. And um, it's kind of like the main in and out for the house and it gets a lot of use every day. So. What's happened is, is that over time, the door, I won't, I won't show you uh, with this door, because this is the one that goes in first and this one afterwards, but the door hinge is worn and it actually drops that way uh, towards the other door. So uh, the two at the top are touching like that and the mechanism, the door mechanism, gets jammed. So you can't open the door properly, it's really bad. So. What I'm going to do today is show you how you can, to some extent, uh, get this problem sorted out. Now obviously you've got to have permission to do it. If you don't own the door then don't, don't suggest you do it. You get permission to do it because you're going to have to drill through the frame of this door and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But let me, let me show you what's happening. So let me go and get my tools, I'll be right back. I'm back, I've got my tools, look, I've got a screwdriver and a jemmy, the old fashioned jemmy. They're handy these things. Anyway, it's hot today, really. Uh, hot? No, it's not hot. There's no sun really. It's bright, but that humidity is off the scale. Gosh, it is sweaty. And unfortunately, being like my father, he sweated a lot as well, and you, know, you don't want to hear the story. Anyway, we're going to do this today. I've been I've been waiting to do this for a long time. So here we go. Today is the day. So. Back to the door. We're going to lift this door off its hinges. Now it's not a it's a, it's not a light door. You know, it's it's got double glazed glass and um, and uh, stuff. And okay, so we're going to lift this door off of here. Don't forget, it's metal framed. And it's uh, made of double glazed uh, glass, so it's not going to be light. So this is the way to do. It. You can do it with a jemmy, and just to lift it. Or you can do it with your feet if you really so get hold of the door like this. You might like, want to get something to help you and just pull, hook the jemmy underneath and pull the door like that off the hinge and then put it down. Normally it's gonna be easy to do just like that. So the rest it up against here. Now what we're looking at is this bit here. These things here, look. You see these hinges here? There's four of them on this door. And let me just undo this hinge for you and I'll show you what I mean. Now this is, I don't know, this is typical of a, of a construction. I mean, all uh, manufacturers are different with these uh, double glazed doors, so all, all fittings are slightly different, but this is what I've got, this is what I've had to, to do. So, I can't get that one off now. But what my point is, is that sometimes this top hinge takes all the weight of the door. It should be spread equally on the floor, but it doesn't. So if you've got a hinge, normally it's the top one, or it could be the bottom one, but this, this top one I've always found. So, you've got a point where these things here screw into plastic they just screw in, they don't screw into metal, they're just self-tapping screws. So what happens is, is the hinge gets keeps getting pulled out, pulled out, pulled out, pulled out all the time. You keep screwing it back in as best you can, repeatedly over the months and weeks or whatever. But finally you end up with a position where the screw just pulls out like that. You can't, it doesn't grip on anything anymore. So you think, well, okay then, what I'll do is I'll put some glue between the bracket and the mounting and then screw these in best I can. Yeah, you can do that. Also, you're thinking, all right then, I'll go in with a bigger screw, a thicker screw to go in there. Not so longer, but thicker. So it makes a new, it taps a new hole for me. Yeah, you can try doing that. But I found all those methods have failed. And I'll show you what I've done. Don't forget this door's used continually, especially in the winter, in, in, out, in, out, in, out. In the summer and normally it's open so it's no problem but it's also south facing so it gets all the heat gets all the expansion and contraction and all that business so 
it takes a real uh, hammering. So what we're going to do, I'll show you, explain to you exactly what's going on here. So I'll just cut the camera now. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken this, uh, I've disassembled my, my solution so you can see what I've done. Now, are you focus in on these holes here. I mean, this brown stuff here is glue. Where I've tried to glue the bracket on here before, you know, and use bigger screws, but it's not manly enough. It just keeps, it'll just break away. It won't break away probably on the day or the week or the month, but month after you'll find this going. Now, if you look at the size of these screw holes here, now uh, they're, they're huge. Uh, you know, you, how are you going to get the screw that I showed you before? Let me just take one out again. Look, I'll show you. This is what it should be like, right? But look, you know, that's going to pull out, isn't it? It's no good at all. And you can't go in with a bigger screw now. You've reached your limit because you've got to put this bracket back. And you're going to have a big, super manly screw through there. It's not going to work. If you're screwing into plastic here, you always, you always um, got this problem about the screw gripping. So that's the thing. Now, how do we overcome that? Well, I'll show you. So you don't have to go and buy a, bolt, a new door or a new frame or nothing like that. As I say, you can try the glue thing, but take it from me. It works for a little bit, and then eventually it doesn't. The bra this bracket comes off again, this thing here. So what we're going to do is I'll show you what, we, what I've done to this. To this door and this this has been like this repair has been like this for at least a year and I've used you know so I know it works and this is why I was excited to show you about this uh, show you this uh, this uh, fix anyway so don't go away camera person so what I've done is I've looked in my, my garage I've got full of nuts and bolts and all bits and pieces to find some squeded, squeded, some threaded screw like that, threaded rod. But you notice that the ends of it look. You see those the chamfered ends there? They will fit quite neatly, not absolutely flush with that, but but enough so you can close the door. If it was like that, you couldn't close the door. You couldn't get the door on. But that allows you to stick the spigot end of the of the hinge inside that inside the hole there. So that is just any more than that. Let's do it on the other one to show you even better. Any more than that, you're not going to get the spigot in that hole. So you need to buy, you're going to need to get hold of some of these screws here uh, with this, this this chamfer on them like that. So sit almost flat to the flush to the bracket. Now, next thing you're going to do is you're going to get a, a nice long drill, and you're going to drill through here, all the way through to the other side. Come around here, put camera person. You see that there? Look. I've drilled right through, right through the, there's no metal parts in here, in the bunk, I can see, probably as well on the outside, but here, I can drill straight through. Now, obviously, you might find a bit of metal there or something, you might have to come through, but in my case, in my case only, uh, this wasn't the case, it was all plastic through there, a whole lot, so it, that, was a, that was good. So, what we're going to do now, if we go outside there, camera person, just for a moment, so, as I say, the glue, don't bother with it, 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 it works, for, it's just a, a partial temporary fix, it ain't gonna, not gonna, it's not going to work for a long while. So, we stick our bolt in here, now we've got two, you've got to have two really, you've got two through like that. Right, so you've got two there, now that, those take the, the place of those screws there, but then they're super manly, they're super strong. So now we've got to think, well what are we going to screw these onto, then what we get is some washers, like that. And you put them around here, look, I mean, they come up one person like that. So you stick one there. Always use washers for these, otherwise, you're gonna it's better to use washers, right? Now, these are 10 mil nuts on here, so I don't know what the diameter of the, of the rod is, but you have to look at that carefully and decide what you need. So, and what you do, I'm gonna switch off, I'm gonna switch off the camera now. I'm going to do these up, okay, and I'll put the door back. Right, so now you can see, now I've screwed this back on here. These nuts here are tight, nice and tight. Uh, not super tight, but I'm going to tighten up in a little bit in a minute, just, just a trouble check. Now, if you come around here, look, you can see that those, the top bracket is on. This, is all, this brown stuff here is glue, as I said, and, and if you look on the side, 
look directly on the side you'll see that I can get that the, 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 the this, this top spigot of the top hinge of the door into that hole just passing that um, that part of the bolt there okay so we're all right that will fit in there okay the other ones are all right whilst you've got the door off it's worth checking to make sure that all the other fixings are tight see that one needed doing up there a little bit that one I've never had problems with the bottom ones it's always been either that one or that one and normally that one so Anyway, we're going to get the door back on now. Right, we're going to get the door back now. There's various ways of doing this. Try not to break the glass. So, we're going to get it like this. And again like this. So, now, what you can do is put something underneath, a block or something underneath the, the door. So it's at more or less the same height as the hinges here. So when you do pick it up, you're not struggling with it too much. Well, I'm going to try and do it without that. So, rest it in the top and the bottom one, then pick it up like that. Get your, look at my right hand, how it is there. The bottom one has moved again. Oh, look. Oh. You look at all of them. No, the top one's gone now. So. Hang on, I've got the bottom three in. It's the top one that's not doing it, so I'm going to have to pick this up a little bit. This is where you need three hands or four. Oh, that's going to come off again. Right. So we could try again. I'm out of practice doing this. Um, so anyway, so the long and short of it is, we've now fixed that top hinge. So that, that top hinge is going nowhere now. Look, you can put on tug on it as hard as is reasonable, hard as is reasonable, and it's uh, it's not going to move out at all. It's not going to wobble this way or wobble that way. So what we're going to do now, come outside, kind of person, is we're just going to. Just nip, nip up these little nuts on the end here. Don't make them super tight, just nip them up. Like that. So, what, we, what is the result we're trying to achieve is for that bracket to remain in position, flat against the plastic or whatever, so that top edge doesn't move, so the door doesn't drop down uh, when, it's, when you're closing it. Now, a couple of things to remind you. You can't do this if it's not your door. Right, if you, if you live in a, you rent a place, you can't do it. If it's not your door, you can't do it. Not unless the, uh, someone agrees, who, who, who owns the door, agrees in, write, in writing that you can do this. And, allows, and you tell him exactly what you're going to do. So, best thing you can do is suggest this, this, this fix to your landlord and let, let him do something. Right, so homeowners then, you can do this. Now, you might have a, you might have a door frame here there's got some metal in between here and here so it's up to you what you decide to do whether you to drill through it or not whether to use this technique or not most the most uh, frames of this will have a, a metal frame on the outside and then be all plastic afterwards so you're going to encounter just plastic between there and there which is which is good which, which allows you to do this fix anyway i hope you've uh, hope you've let's just try the door closing so Just close the door here. Yeah, that's perfect. As so, you might have to have do some uh, jiggery pokery around with the adjusting these um, these hinges and that, but you know it's it's doable. And, and the main point of this video is is to show you how to fix the top bracket, top hinge, so it doesn't keep coming away from the the door. As I say, you can use glue, you can use bigger screw, bigger thicker screws, but I tried everything, um, not on this door, others as well. And the only method that works for long term, long term, is my uh, my uh, nut and bolt method. So, 
until uh, until I do something else again, uh, you can see some recipes of mine up here. You can see some uh, uh, quick tips at up top up here. You can see some the other DIYs I've done here, and if you want to subscribe, it's down here. And uh, until next time.